Okay, so on this example, ladies and gentlemen, I have um, x and a y, and we have a couple of lines. Now remember, when we're dealing with this, we actually have a couple of transversals. We have here's a transversal, and you could say here's a transversal as well. However, does this transversal really creating any angles for me? No. So I don't want to confuse myself, so I'm just going to kind of erase it. All right? And when you're trying to do this as well, I want you guys to kind of not think about so many lines up here. And that's what becomes really difficult in this problem, because you could say that, um, well, between these two lines, that's an exterior and that's an exterior. However, is this line making any angles for us? So guess what? I'm going to get rid of that as well. So therefore, the only lines that I want to be concerned about are the two lines that are being intersected by the transversal that are creating my angles that they're asking me to relate to. And then I see here, I have now, between those two lines, I have an interior angle and an exterior angle. Now remember our definitions. We talked about alternate interior, consecutive interior, or alternate exterior. Those all had to be both interior or both exterior. And then there was that other one, which was corresponding. And corresponding says that they have to be one interior, one exterior, and they have to be in the exact same position. Are these two angles in the exact same position? Yes. So they are what we call corresponding. OK. So that was number 10 for you. Does anybody have one of those sheets of paper that has little black marks on it that I marked? If anybody looks on page.